new bromance has been formed, and it's between none other than Scott Disick and Pete Davidson. The two have become close now that they are both a part of the Kardashian family and often post on their interactions on their social media platforms. But apparently Disick is also quite protective of Kim with her new man, making sure that he's the right one for her, especially after all that she's been through. Stay tuned for all the insider details. First up, Scott Disick and Pete Davidson have a new budding bromance. Here's everything you need to know. It's no secret that there's a new budding friendship between A-lister Scott Disick and Pete Davidson. According to various close sources, Scott Disick and Pete Davidson have become pals after bonding through their respective links to the Kardashian family. Scott has had the opportunity to bond with him over the last few months, a source close to the pair claimed. Pete has been spending a lot of time in LA with Kim. Scott is protective of Kim and wants to make sure she's in good hands with anyone she's dating, they stated. When Davidson published a video from their boys' night on his Instagram story, they gave fans an insight into their new friendship. Davidson captioned an Instagram story video that showed him and two other men sleeping on the couch while Davidson watched the 1982 comedy The King of Comedy. The Set It Up actor pulled a stupid look at the camera after sweeping the camera around the room, revealing he was the only one still awake. A day later, the two were photographed at Disick and Kourtney Kardashian's seven-year-old son Rain's baseball game. On Sunday, March 20th, the talentless co-founder posed for photos with the Saturday Night Live alum and other participants, according to photos obtained by online media sources. Travis Barker, Kourtney Kardashian's fiancé, was also photographed at the sporting event in a second batch of images. Disick has taken a fancy to Davidson, according to the insider, because of how happy he makes Kim Kardashian. He's delighted he has another male to lean on when it comes to the Kardashians, the insider said of Disick. To add to their budding relationship, recent news just broke over the past few days. Pete Davidson was captured on Disick's social media driving to Scott's house in his girlfriend Kim Kardashian's new pink car. Gotta love Postmates was the caption. We then see Disick waving goodbye on his Instagram story, with Davidson stating, good to see you, bro, to which Disick replied, good to see you too, thank you for delivering the pizza. The comedian joined in on the joke, saying he'd be pleased to deliver meals anytime, and wishing Disick a pleasant night. We love to see these two getting along, and it probably feels nice for both of them to have someone that isn't a direct Kardashian to hang out with, as we all know how insane it must be being a part of the Kardashian bubble. Next, Kanye West finally wants to put everything to rest and be there for his children. In other recent Kim K news, her rocky relationship with ex-husband Kanye West seems to be looking up. Kanye West has recently claimed that he's attempting to focus on his estranged wife Kim Kardashian's good relationship. The couple share four young children together, North 8, Chicago 4, Saint 6, and Psalm 2. So making peace is extremely important. After nearly seven years of marriage, the KKW beauty entrepreneur filed for divorce in February 2021. When West began openly attacking Pete Davidson, Kardashian's first partner after their split, with lyrics and music videos, as well as whining about their custody arrangements and parenting conflicts, the ex's divorce became awful and nasty, and it was all public, which probably made it that much worse. However, it appears as though things are on the up and up. West and Kardashian were both spotted at Saints' March 27th soccer game. The Grammy winner even went out on the field to help their young son warm up before watching the game with Kim and their other children. After a difficult winter, an insider told media sources that it was an amicable spring family vacation. Additionally, to aid in the mending of their relationship, after publicly insulting Kim Kardashian and Pete consistently via social media, Kanye West informed her that he was going away to seek therapy. According to Page Six, West, now known as Ye, has 
promised to stop pestering his estranged wife and torturing her lover Pete Davidson online. Last month, his alarming behavior resulted in him being banned from Instagram for 24 hours, and his appearance at this year's Grammy Awards was officially canceled. For the sake of the kids, Kanye has promised Kim he's not making any public appearances or provocative social media posts, and he'll go away somewhere to get better, a source close to the Kardashians and West claimed. The rapper was unsure if he wanted to go to treatment, since he wants to remain in LA to be there for his children. Meanwhile, West's health has been questioned following his weeks of constantly tormenting Kardashian's boyfriend through his songs and on Instagram. He spoke of wanting to kick Pete Davidson's A in his song Easy, and he also developed a frightening music video, in which a claymation version of the comedian was kidnapped and buried alive. Pretty off the cuff and alarming if you ask us. During this same time period, West was slamming Kim on social media, claiming that she had denied him access to his children. However, she claimed that this couldn't be further from the truth, writing, Please stop with this narrative. You were just here this morning bringing up the kids for school, she wrote in response to his accusation. Davidson and Kardashian have been dating since October 2021. She filed for divorce from West in early March 2021 and became legally single. She also dropped the West from her surname legally and formally. So as you can see, that relationship is well and truly over, and we're happy to hear that it's starting to actually sink in for West. But Kourtney Kardashian isn't thrilled that Scott Disick is making his way back into her inner circle. Here's everything you need to know. In other Kardashian news, it appears as though Kourtney Kardashian isn't too thrilled that her ex, Scott Disick, is making his way back into her inner circle. Kourtney Kardashian is happily married to Travis Barker, but there's one man from her past who refuses to leave her side, Scott. He is, of course, present to co-parent his three children, Mason, 12, Penelope, 9, and Rain, 7, but he's also an important member of the Kardashian inner circle, and it appears that he is bringing someone else into the fold. Pete Davidson and Courtney's ex-boyfriend have been hanging out a lot recently, and Disick has been documenting their bond on Instagram. Even if Courtney would rather focus her emphasis on Barker, the men's relationship pushes Disick even closer to her. According to E! News, Disick was the one who welcomed Pete into the family and took him under his wing, as navigating your way around the Kardashian family cannot be an easy task. But now they are closer than ever. Kim is said to think the bond is sweet, while Courtney isn't so happy about her ex spending more time with her and her family members. So what about Disick's current relationship with Courtney's now fiance, Travis Barker? Well, apparently there is a mutual distance between the two, which is partly owing to Disick's lingering love for Courtney, who finds it difficult seeing her move on. According to various online media sources, Travis has no grudge against Scott, but apparently Scott finds it hard to be around the couple, as he still has lingering feelings for the mother of his children. However, having a new family buddy is uplifting Disick's spirits, and Davidson is likely grateful for an ally in the high-profile household. Courtney is perhaps the only one who isn't happy, but she has Barker to distract her. Speaking of Courtney Kardashian, Travis Barker and Courtney showed off their love of PDA on the red carpet at the very recent Grammy Awards, having a very affectionate moment. At one point, the couple started French kissing in front of the cameras. While PDA isn't always the easiest to watch, they both looked amazing. The couple wore black clothing and rectangular sunglasses to match. Barker donned an enormous black sweater and leggings, while Kardashian chose a black cutout jumpsuit. In addition to the vest, Barker sported a pink oversized coat. Kardashian and Barker also made the news last weekend after kissing on the red carpet at the Academy Awards. They're engaged and hoping to tie the knot by the end of the year. For their wedding, Courtney and Travis are looking at spring and summer dates, a source close to the couple told Entertainment Tonight. They continued stating, they want their wedding to reflect both of their personalities, with a touch of eroticism 
optimism and elegance. Kardashian's ex-husband Scott Disick is still not happy about her marrying the Blink-182 singer, according to the source. However, the general relationship between Disick and Kardashian has improved. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about Scott Disick and how he has been taking a liking to Kim Kardashian's new man, aka Pete Davidson. The two have been hanging out more and more, and honestly, we love to see it. Thanks for watching.